Okay, so you want to know how to split a cell in Microsoft Excel. We're going to look at two scenarios. The first is where we want to split first name and last name. And the second scenario, we have product name, costs and revenue separated by a semicolon. We want these nicely split out into separate cells in this table. So there are a number of ways that you can achieve this in Microsoft Excel. The dirtiest and quickest way is to use something called flash fill. Now all you do here is you type in an example of what you want to extract from the column to the left of where you're typing. And then once you've typed it in, press control enter to stay in the cell rather than enter. And then control E will employ the flash fill functionality. And I can do the same over here. Smith, control enter to stay in the cell, control E to flash fill. That's a really quick way of splitting the data into separate cells. Now, another way is to use functionality called text to columns. To use that method, you select the cells that you want to split. Then you go to the data tab on your ribbon. In the data tools group, you'll see a button called text to columns. You just go next to your first step. And on this step, you need to choose your delimiter. Now the delimiter is where you want to split the cell. So in our case, that's a space. So I would tick space there. And you can see now it's drawn a line between the first name and the last name. So I know it's gonna be successful. Click next. And then I need to tell Excel where I want to output the two names. So I click into the destination box and then I select B3. That's where I want the first names to appear. Click on finish. If you get that message, just click on OK. And you can see you get the first and last names in separate cells. Now, if you're using Excel 365, there are a couple of functions that will enable you to do this called text before and text after. So I want to extract the text before the space. So I can use text before. I'm going to use these two arguments here. The others are non-mandatory. So text is my text over here. And my delimiter is a space. That's the character before which you want to extract the text. So I just close the bracket there and I get Robert. I copy this down and then I can use text after for the surname or the last name. Works in the same way. So text after the space and that extracts the last name. Now using this method, if I change Kate Bush to Sam Bush, then you can see it automatically updates the first name entry in column B. The other methods, flash fill and text to columns, don't do that. So use this method if you want these two columns, first name and last name, to automatically update if this column changes. The only other reason why you might want to split a cell is maybe where you have a merge cell. So you can see that names to split is merged across three columns here. Now, if you don't want that to be the case, you need to go back to the home tab on your ribbon. And you've got a little merge button here. If you click on that drop down, you can unmerge cells. And now we have three different cells in that row rather than just the one across all the other columns. Now let's see how this works with sheet two. I think for this method, I would be using text to columns. So I'd select these three cells. I'd go to the data tab. I go to text to columns, just go next. Then I need to specify what my delimiter is. Well, that's a semicolon. So I click in other, and you might need to type a semicolon in there. In fact, you probably will. And then I can see it successfully split the cell. So I go to next and I need to say where my destination is. So my destination is C2. Click on finish. Again, if you get that message, just click on OK. And there we have it. We split the sales across those three columns. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.